up you guys welcome back to my channel so today in this video I'm talking all about one product from Petula I made sure in the title you knew I was only talking about one thing so that none of you would get mad at me but today we are talking about the Tracy power short in the shade classic black and why I don't like this and will be returning these. I never thought I'd be making like a more negative Petula video because you guys know I love Petula. These were a huge fail for me and there is pretty much one big reason as to why and I will dive into that. If you guys have any questions about my measurements and my sizing they are all linked in the down bar but I will double check and make sure my measurements are right before I give you information on these shorts that way you're just knowledgeable before purchasing because if you are looking for a pair of spandex booty shorts these are amazing quality they're definitely squat proof they feel extremely comfortable except for one part and they might be a good fit for you but they were not a good fit for me. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you stick around by subscribing. Give this video a big thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get into reviewing the Petula Tracy Power Short in Classic Black. So I want to start by just giving you a little bit of background on these shorts, just reading the description from the website so that you guys are up to date. So I'm going to scoot over this way and insert some photos right here. So the Tracy Power Short retails for $38 on the Batula Active website. It comes in all sizes from extra, extra small all the way up to large. Large is sold out currently on the website, but it looks like all other sizes are in stock. If you want more information on Tracy and who she is and who she means to Sammy, there is an explanation of who she is on the website if you're curious about it. It's really fun to read the stories behind the name of each product. I love that she does that with her brand. I think it just really connects everyone and makes us feel more like a family and more like we're all kind of becoming more active and more confident and more strong together, which I think is really, really cool. These are a nylon lycra blend. They have a four-way stretch. It is moisture wicking, functional pocket on the right side side which you see right here there's also a zipper pocket on the back which is a really nice size it's a little tight but my iPhone 8 does fit in that back pocket although I probably would recommend just using the back pocket for maybe a credit card some cash me outside how about ah maybe not your phone she also has this thing she calls the little grippy deals which are these little adhesive strips that are inserted into the leg of the short, which I think are really, really nice. They're supposed to help keep the hem down on the shorts onto your thigh. So she calls these the adhesive strips on inner hem. This is a part of the performance collection. The person modeling these photos, which is Sammy, she does wear a size medium and her stats are, she is 5'6", 150 pounds, her waist is 27 inches and her hips are 39 inches. So based off the size chart, if your waist is 23 inches you should get an extra extra small and then it goes up by two inch increments so I chose to get a small for a 26 inch waist rather than a medium for a 28 inch waist just because I do have smaller hips than Sammy I did just take my measurements and my waist usually comes out to about 27 27 and a half 28 so I'm definitely right in between a small and a medium but I have found with all leggings that a small works perfectly for me because of my hip size if you do have bigger hips than I do and my hips are a 37 to a 37 and a half which is an inch and a half smaller than Sammy's so I go with the small that has worked for me on all leggings all leggings feel great in the small I have tried the mediums and the Elena leggings and they are too big hi babe oh look you came to see me mm. you hit to say hi to the friends say hello my name is roger and i love patula second mama talks about patula just makes me so excited i wear a small in all patula leggings that is what just works perfectly for me the mediums are definitely too big probably repeating myself i'm sorry if i am so i chose to get a small for these because i figured they would fit Similarly to her leggings, her leggings that are extremely compressive, have no seam at the top, are really, really comfortable. The waistband is just amazing and seamless and beautiful. And when I held these up, pulled them out of the container and I looked at them, I thought, that's tiny. Like That is not a small. These look like an extra small. Now when you try them on, and I'll make sure I show you guys how they fit and everything like that, the hips and 
all around the booty fits beautifully and they're a really gorgeous comfortable short the side pocket detail is just amazing could be a little bit more compressive and i kind of wish they were the front seam isn't even a big issue when it comes to things like camel toe i feel like it's not camel toe less it could be a little bit better but the front seam isn't like a deal breaker but this seam around the top y'all is a deal breaker and i laid these on the ground and figured it should measure about 13 inches to fit a 26 inch waist based off the true to size size guide that is below the shorts and i kid you not if you put a measuring tape across these it clocks in at 11 inches you guys 11 inches which means this would not stretching fit a 22 inch waist so I would say if you're buying these, you need to size up. Now the biggest problem is the bottom of the short and the booty fit me perfectly great with a size 37. Size 37 inches around my hips. For where my waist was being 27 inches, oh my gosh, this squeezed. And yes, I'm going to show you it squeezing me on camera, which I don't wanna do, but I want to give you guys a really honest review. I know that Sammy and Petula in general want that as well because they just wanna make their brand amazing and make all women feel comfortable and so i think this short is a great short i think it has a lot of room to grow and be improved i would definitely say get rid of the back pocket the side pockets all of those little details and just give us a short that feels like the elena's or even has this sleek fabric but a waistband that's not like this because i think her intention with this waistband is to keep them up but to be honest it digs into your sides and it's uncomfortable like you would have to have zero fat on your body to wear these comfortably without them squeezing you and so for me these are a huge pass i wouldn't even try the medium if she releases more colors of the tracy power short i will not be purchasing them and it just makes me really sad i would highly recommend the elena leggings the myra plush leggings look gorgeous i'm still really interested in the raynell i think she just does such an amazing job with her leggings with those seamless waistbands let me show you what i'm talking about this gorgeous lack of a seam at the top of her leggings is just so nice and so comfortable this is the size small in the elena's and if you measure these across the top they clock in at about 12 inches if it's like right at the tippy top of it it is 11 the same as the short but these have a really nice stretch and they don't have that upper seam because these have that upper seam they really don't stretch nicely and as cleanly and beautifully that these do so it's just i'm sorry guys i'm sorry to have a negative review and i wish these were a little bit more compressive i actually i like how stretchy they are but i feel like they could be a little bit tighter in the booty like this is a very stretchy very flexible fabric oh also it has a really nice cross gusset on there as well she did a really nice job with that okay friends now it's time for me to show you how these shorts look on my body which is fine I'm not excited about showing you how much they squeeze me in the waist but I'm a human and we are all humans and frankly I don't want anyone to make the same mistakes I have so if you feel like these would be something that you wouldn't enjoy I don't want you to buy them and figure it out once you get them at home so that is why I'm doing this in-depth review so here is what the shorts look like I want to say they have a two inch inseam. They're awfully cute. I love the pocket detail. I think it's really, really nice. And even having that back zipper is great. I know a lot of people have asked to have these be a little bit longer. For reference, I am 5'4", and this is kind of where they hit me on the thigh. They definitely are a little bit shorter. And I feel like these have a nice stretch. Like I did say, these are squat proof, but the biggest problem is the waistband, you guys. It just digs right into your waist. It just kind of makes you pooch out. I am uh, not a fan of these at all. They are not extremely flattering on my body. Sorry, Petula. So that's it, you guys. That is my review of the Petula Tracy Power Short Leggings. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now that I'm finished filming this video, I will be sending these back and returning them to Petula, and I'm really bummed about that because I love Petula and I hate returning stuff. I was talking about it with my husband. He was like, oh man, you were so excited about those shorts. You love Petula. And I was like, I know, but Sammy's amazing. She makes great products. I would definitely recommend you check out anything. She also has these really cute tanks, which I chose to not purchase because I'm waiting. I'm holding out for when she releases more crop tops that are a little bit looser that she's kind of been hinting at in the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to just wait and be patient and make a bigger purchase then. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said before, make sure you stick around by subscribing. Comment down below what videos you want to see from me next. If you want to see active wear, makeup, reviews, whatever you want to see, let me know. Hope you guys are having an amazing week and I'll see you guys next time on my channel. Bye y'all.